Montgomery is a very historical place. It has a lot of history, a lot of black history. The fountain before it was put there, um, it was a hollow enclosure. There were stairs that went down. They used to bring the slaves in from the waterfront. Uh, some of the buildings have changed. One of them was imploded. But they brought them in from the waterfront. That's why the fountain on the top of the fountain, she's facing towards the waterfront instead of the Capitol. They used to bring the slaves up the street, put them underneath and bring them inside the fountain and sell the slaves in the fountain. Um, there was slave trade all over Montgomery, but the Lehman Brothers made uh, Court Square the epic center of slave trade. Uh, there's a building called the Winter Building on the corner. Mr. Winter used to own slaves. It was built, it was there since 1841. The Winter Building, uh, Winter, Mr. Winter owned slaves. He had children with one slave lady. On another corner of Dexter Avenue is a bank. It was uh, funded by the Confederacy. When the Confederacy, um, when they went bankrupt, Mr. Winter lost just about everything, but he owned a house up there, and underneath the house, it was a hollow enclosure, like catacombs or like a dungeon. That's where he held the slaves. There's also a skeleton still down there if they haven't removed it. But this information is not for anybody to be upset about. But by the same token, man always makes mistakes. That's why it's called history. You learn from your history so that we don't repeat those same mistakes no matter how heinous they are.